AAMS Auto Audio Mastering System www.curiosa.com Hello, this is Danny van der Velde. I'm the creator of AMS Auto Audio Mastering System. Today we want to first address what you got to do with the program first when you install it and you need music to be mastered. I found on the internet a good example of a live recording but it can also be your own mix, your own recordings of the band, own DJ tapes or anything. You can audio master your own music but you can also improve music you find on the internet or out of your music collection. This is Bob Marley, Dan Belly Fool. It's a live recording I found on the internet. Now, I want to improve the file you can use as a first starter of this program. Use this button. Um, first, when you open the ARMS program, I will close it. Open it. This is the first button you're gonna use and it's a button users will use all the time even if they're beginners, experienced or any user this button is of importance. It's easy button you just have to click it. You can see the directory arms sources, sources directory. I placed the file in Bob test and I'm gonna load them belly full live recording by Bob Marley which we just listened to the original we have opened it now I'm gonna look for a reference that is a style a musical style out of the database of arms there are a lot of styles and yeah we're just gonna look for this was reggae so we're gonna look for reggae we could use this one but we don't we're gonna look for a more appropriate reggae to me, this is Reggae Live. It's a live track, so let's start with this one. We have um, chosen the Bob Marley file. We have chosen a reference out of the database. And now the program is just gonna do the auto audio mastering by itself you just have to wait and what you have to wait for you can see below the program is analyzing Bob Marley into its uh, memory and it will save uh, a source file 
the ARM software consists of source file and a reference file. The source file is, of course, your own audio file, and the reference file, yeah, that is what you can take out of the database. There are more 200 database presets like pop, rock, uh, anything, Latin, DJ, house, uh, jazz, reggae, world music, lounge. You just have to look for it. We'll do that later on. You can see it's almost ready to analyze the file and then uh, ARMS will start mastering it. In between that, while we're waiting for it, ARMS is busy, um, we're gonna show you a little bit of the program. But you don't need to, you just have to wait for this screen to end and this become green again. That will take a few minutes, maybe five minutes, I don't know. So, arms will start mastering. All right, let's go over here. Here you see the red and the blue lines are the source file. That means Bob Marley, then belly full. This is the reference file we have chosen. That is the reggae live preset. I'm gonna go on because it's gonna happen real fast. Because the program does everything by itself, it's now recording EQ. Now you can see here also EQ settings. The EQ settings come from the differences between source and reference file. This is a 100 band equalizer. Basically, it's a three stage rocket, equalizer, compression, and loudness. The compressor is an eight band multi band compressor. Here you can see all multi bands compressed, but that doesn't matter a lot. It's now in hunting mode. The equalizer can do the same thing. Equalizer hunts first and then records. The compressor or multiband compressor, in this case eight bands, will first hunt for the right levels and then record the right levels. One nice thing to see is that the multibands have three green levels. That means everything is correct yeah that's for later on you can see dsp compressor recording is finished now it goes to the third stage and the third stage is loudness loudness processor first that is also two things in one we got balancing and we got gain and first the program arms tries to balance the stereo file so it sits in the middle in the meantime it also did a little bit much in this case volume and the, the second stage is loudness but we already did the programming did already a lot of volume so at this stage it's only correcting a little bit and make it loud. It consists of a brick wall limiter, RMS peak limiter and a three limits in one and the vintage tube. The multiband compressor is also tubed. Basically now ARMS is finished with the file and is gonna save it to disk. This screen shows you, I should have shown it at the start, um, it's almost the same like this button, but this button does the same, but it will show the whole process and uh, at the end it's gonna save the master file at the same directory 
with master dot wav behind it. Now it says arms single track is done and it's really finished now. So that took about yeah five six minutes. Let's see what happened in our directory. First we have the original mp3 file and then arms has created some extra files. This file is the analyzed file. Basically it is the source file. Then the original file and then you cut a mastering document will show it later. We got the live master, that is the master file from ARMS, a 16-bit WAV file and a 32-bit float file. Well, depending on the quality you need, you can use these files later on Yeah, for anything. Put them on the internet, um, label them or anything. These are the master files and well, let's first listen again to the original file, a little bit. Well, now we're going to listen to the ARMS Auto Audio Mastering mastered file that we just made. I think you get the picture now. The sound is like changed a lot. Even when we thought that the original file was quite okay, you can listen to it. This one is way better equalized, balanced and has got a lot more power than the original file. Of course, I didn't want to change the original file um, like I got it from the internet, I could have normalized it, I could do anything with it, but this is a recording that people put on the internet and it's an original recording, probably come from any CD or anything from Bob Marley. Um, I don't know, it's a live recording. So, now you know the procedure what you have to do when you first start with arms 
you just have to press one button you choose the file and then you choose a reference mastering rms that is the main uh, starting point for looking for a reference if you know your music if it's like asian music blues bollywood i don't know country classical christmas music and of course there are also directories like uh, soul music and in those directories there are soul female male motown yeah a lot of different styles and the one you have to watch for is the rms rms means uh, the overall style these are differences in the style and this is the rms style you can find it also in the directory i have to go back and if you see here soul that is the same one the first directory with references is only the 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 basic setup for you so if you have soul music choose soul music if you don't know then you can choose the mastering rms uh, as first starting point so that is basically it this is the end of the first video i ever made for arms auto audio mastering system where i speak myself and it was kind of weird and difficult but i explained you how the first steps are i like to call it three easy steps to master your own music thank you AAMS Auto Audio Mastering System www.curiosa.com